Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So who is Hero27 going to be? There were these leaks, there's the area stuff, what's going on? Well, I kind of want to take a step back for a second actually and not talk about who Hero27 may be. All of these theories and leaks is giving me some pretty bad PTSD when it comes to other leaks and stuff that we've had in the past. Surrounded some really awful ideas and speculation that just never ceased to be. Or at least not in the way that people were expecting. So today I want to go over five of the worst hero conspiracies, I suppose I would call them. Go over what sent the community into meltdown multiple times. And generally some of the heroes that never made it, whether they are likely to be Hero 27, just for the hell of it. I'm going to mildly spoil the list for you a little bit by saying that a few of the heroes on this list actually did make their way into the game. Now you may be saying, why are these dreadful hero theories if they were actually correct and we have seen these heroes come into the game? Well, whilst we did see these heroes come into the game, there were some really stupid theories and conspiracies surrounding them. And whilst these people did end up being right, they made some ridiculous claims on their way to being right as well. But the first hero is isn't anybody in particular. In fact, this hero was changed out for several people on this list, but also a few others as well. And I just want to call them the anniversary hero. Risa had just come out and Doomfist has been mentioned God knows how many times we'll get onto him later. But the anniversary hero is a particularly interesting case and it kind of put a downer on the Overwatch anniversary as a whole. Overwatch celebrates its birthday on May the 24th and last year to mark its anniversary, there was an event, both in-game, but also an event that was on Twitch that had a lot of content creators including us streaming from there just hanging out and celebrating a year of Overwatch being a live game. But the event in itself had some arena maps, dancing mutts and skins, you remember it and it should be coming up this time next year as well as Jeff Kaplan has said. But during all of this there was a 4chan leak and it said this, a new hero and map will be coming onto the PTR on the 6th of June as the anniversary event ends. Good timing to keep players playing after the event. This is it on screen with another leak saying that new content would come at the anniversary event. There was also a datamine thread with six strings in attached to do with the anniversary event as you've seen with event six on screen but as we know they turned out to be mini arena maps and essentially no new hero basically. But as I said there was a live stream to mark the commemoration of Blizzard's birthday. Lots of cool stuff going on there. But I remember looking at a Reddit thread about the event and it was just full of people wondering about when this new hero was going to get announced at this event. And of course beforehand we knew that there was no such thing so it was quite interesting to see so many disappointed people getting upset over something that was never really teased or revealed by Blizzard themselves. This was the first real time that we had a 4chan leak disappoint so many people. But even then we had Jeff Kaplan taken out of context by saying a new hero is on the horizon with people thinking that the new hero was going to be on the new map. And what a perfect segue into our next hero that we want to go over here and that would be Hammond. Hammond's had a few actual teasers from Blizzard on Horizon Lunar Colony. The main one being the escaped animals on ship. Obviously you have Winston, but you also have Hammond as well in this character. And there's also a tease about an email saying that something snuck away in the ventilation shaft. There was also the 4chan link that I mentioned earlier. It does have a little bit of information about what Hammond may have been as well. But this leak was actually posted the day before Horizon hit the PTR, but it was teased beforehand with the images that I just showed you on Twitter and all that stuff. So it's not hard to guess that this would have happened. You know, you see the teasers and go, that's Horizon. I'm going to write a Fortune leak to say that it's Horizon, because if it's wrong, nobody will take any notice. But if it's right, that's somehow evidence that can back this up. There was the idea that it was a chimpanzee hero with cybernetic enhancements and being a support hero, setting anchor points and barriers and all that stuff. And whilst all of this stuff was a cool concept for a hero, and it's certainly plausible as well, well, for Hammond to be Hero 27, all Jeff Kaplan said was that he was hinted at, and that's essentially what Hammond was. Officially, nothing happened around Hammond. And I guess the frustrating thing is the aggressive stance of people saying that this had to be Hero 24, 25, and it just wasn't. There was too much hype around nothing concrete with taking little bits of teasers from Blizzard and making a full story out of it. And because of that, the idea of Hammond never really seemed to happen. I do hope we get to see him at some point, he sounds like an interesting hero, but again it tied into the anniversary event hero, so both of those really disappointed people at the start of 2017. Now a hero that did actually show up but still caused a lot of problems I suppose was Doomfist. Not only was Doomfist expected to be Terry Crews, but people expected Doomfist at every turn after Sombra was launched. Of course we finally got him, but not after a few weird turnarounds and some weird things happening in game. Actually in hindsight some of this stuff is pretty hilarious, so we all knew that the Doomfist gauntlet was on the Barney, that's what you're doing on the payload, you're moving it along. And we also know what Doomfist's gauntlet does from the first animated shot that we ever saw 
when Overwatch was revealed. The general who is this guy was still up in the air for the early days. We did videos way back in the closed beta talking about Doomfist and where we might see this new hero. So there was a lot of hype surrounding him from the very early days of the game being launched. And what are the first heroes that you would say could be a potential future hero? Well, as this went on and on, the Terry Crews thing certainly didn't make it any easier. And we of course had Numbani getting trashed with Doomfist, Scarlet stalling, and all of the OR14 bots found around the map. So everybody's thinking that Hero 24 would be Doomfist. But no, instead we got Orisa, which is probably one of the biggest debates in actual history. But we also did have Jeff Kaplan actually saying when people were thinking Doomfist was going to be the next hero, that the next hero isn't who you think it is. So a lot of people kind of thought, hmm, who could it be? And they were looking at the Omnic robot thing that was in the background and that sort of stuff. But no, it turned out to be Orisa surprised a lot of people. Of course, this led to more theories around Hero 24, especially when Effie came out, people thought that it was going to be like a 13-year-old girl being the hero, using nanobots and she sat and spawned to use them. But nope, Orisa, disappointing at the time, but suddenly becoming one of the strongest heroes at the moment, so maybe she's found a time. But again, the idea of Doomfist caused a lot of problems during that period. We eventually got him, but not after some frustration. People wanted Doomfist a lot sooner than we got him, I think. And even then, he got nerfed to the ground anyway. Hero number four is Junker Queen, probably my least favorite theory out of all of them. It currently sits with Hammond as a hero we expect to see in the future, but not quite ready in the game as of yet. It's my least favorite hero on this list because it seems like it's really clutching at the straws, or at least it did at the time. Junker Town was added at Gamescom, so around September time, and we were introduced to the character called Junker Queen, who was the leader of the Junkers, obviously. You heard a voice all across the map via voiceover and tannoys, and the character is present in the map with a little picture of her. You also had the trailer with her talking over it, so people got to establish her in the story a little bit more. This aspect of it is fair enough as people were surmising that Athena could be a character as well. She's obviously the main voiceover character, but also present in a lot of the animated shots as well. Brigitte is a good example of this too. But even the kids from the first Overwatch shot were being linked to be potential future heroes. But it's more what followed, actually. When people were starting to think that Junker Queen could be the next hero, but then it started to turn into Junker Queen will be the next hero. There were talks of her official release date, her abilities, and her having a mech. It essentially turned into this, if it has to do with Junker Queen, it's part of her her being a hero and that makes it that she is going to be a hero. The tease to do with her release was actually on the license plate which read 0320. Now this is kind of legit actually, this is around the time that Arisa went live last year. But we have actually done a video disproving Junker Queen why she won't come out, there's too many Junker characters in the game already, and there was an artist that said that Junker Queen wasn't going to come out anytime soon, she was just meant to be an addition to the map to give it some more life I suppose. But that's not to say that we may not see her in the future, but I just don't think she's likely to be Hero 27 either. And finally, whilst we did get this hero, she caused a complete chaotic breakdown of people and that was Sombra and her ARG. Now there were some really stupid theories for Sombra anyway to do with her being Aleandra which was the girl from the soldier shot but the ARG really takes the biscuit of upsetting and essentially pissing off a lot of fans. So when it comes to big problems surrounding a hero's launch, I think Sombra leads that by a country mile. Whilst the answers were eventually given to us in amazing fashion at BlizzCon, the community went on some crazy goose chases to work out the ARG and what it meant. It started with a hint on Anna's launch trailer, funnily enough, with some hexadecimal numbers shown on screen. That was broken down, translated, ciphered, all that stuff, and it worked out to be she who has the information has the power. Pretty badass way to start it, but eventually the Sombra ARG didn't really go anywhere at all. There were some no T's or anything anything really of the hero, you just ended up hacking into Lamerica emails and a little look into Sombra's little logo. It also involved hacking Bastion and some other information going onto Volsky and that stuff, but the ARG overall just seemed like a big waste of time for a lot of people, and certainly left a big sour taste in a lot of players' mouths, maybe from expecting too much, which tends to happen quite a lot anyway in the community, but this was the first time that it really happened. In that time, we've also had Sombra mistaken for Anna as well, back when Anna was launched, thinking that she was the Shrike skin that was found on Temple of Anubis, and also that they cook eSports cinematic events that they had where they basically rented out cinemas and showed all of the animated shots on screen would give some more information to Sombra right at the end, but again, that never really happened much to our disappointment, but we did eventually get Sombra at BlizzCon this year, and as I said, in pretty good fashion. But they are the five heroes that are causing some real bad hindsight feels, I suppose. And with the conversation about Hero 27, I do feel like I'll be able to add to this list by the time that we get to this time next year. But we'll soon see. Let us know what your least favourite hero theory is. Is it the ones on this list? Is it Ares? Is it Hammond? Who else could it be? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, take care. We'll see you then.